stream. Um, <clears throat> I would hereby love to declare that uh, if it wasn't obvious enough, I love Dion and I'm excited to see Dion and I hope we see Dion today. Actually, I'm going to keep streaming until I see Dion today. I love Dion so much and I, I think I've mentioned that I really, <laughs> I really like Dion. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm I'm happy for Clive and Jill. That's cool. Um, uh, that happened. But Dion is great. He's on his way. The, the baby, he's on his way. No, 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 no. I'm not doing a 14-hour stream. No, 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 bro. Um, but anyway, hi. I hope you guys are all doing well. Leo, thank you so much for the 35-month resub. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys are doing okay. I uh, I love this game so much. And again, I, res I still stand by my statement from yesterday that I think this is my favorite Final Fantasy game and we're not even done with it. Ugh. But I'll probably mention at the end of my playthrough my only gripe with this game, really. And there's nothing that the game can do about it. It's just the nature of the story and how it's running. But... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll mention it at the end. I only have one gripe with it, but I think despite that, it's still my favorite. It's beating out seven. I never thought I'd say that in my life. Ugh. Dion is more important. Exactly. Dion is way more important right now. We got to help him rebuild Sombrick. All right. Like, I that's all I care about. I'm, I'm just going to help out the boy. Yeah, for me, I'm liking it a lot better than I ever liked seven. Why am I so dark? Oh. My light wasn't on full. Oops. There we go. Um, so yes, I love Dion. Oh, no problem, Alan. I wish you the best of luck with catching up. <laughs> I believe in you. I think today might actually be... It, d it depends on what happens today, but it might be a shorter stream. Not, not, not entirely sure. <clears throat> and Dion gang, best gang. I don't know if I'll have much of an intro today to start the stream. Uh, we'll hang out for a little bit here, but I want to get started. <laughs> I want to get started so bad. How's the difficulty for you? Um, comfortable? For a person like me that's not really the best at like action RPGs, uh, it's it's a good balance. Like, I very much appreciate how they tackled the difficulty of this game. If you want to make it easier, you slap on some rings. If you don't want to have it be easy, then if you want it, wait. Yeah, if you don't want more of a challenge, you just take off all the rings. Like, and I, I think it probably could still be a little bit more difficult, but even without the rings. But I think it's a comfortable situation. I really like it a lot, actually. I feel like the balance is really good. <clears throat> you just got sliced by Barnabas. I fear I haven't closed the gap at all. Uh, no! You're not that bad. I think that's like, that's, yeah, getting sliced by Barnabas. That, that was where we ended the stream on Friday. I think that is actually the very last thing that we did on Friday's 14 hour stream. So now you're literally just one stream behind yesterday. So, uh, yeah. You just have yesterday's stream to go through. Damn, you're, uh, catching up. <laughs> let's go, Alan, let's go. Oh yeah, it's the 4th of July. Does that even mean anything for any Americans anymore? <laughs> I know I'm still American, even though I live in Canada now, but, um, yeah. Fourth of July, I don't think is that big of a deal. It seems like uh, America cares less and less. Unless, actually, no, it's very divided. It's a day off work. See, that's the most important thing, having a day off of work. Definitely agree with you there, if you're a government worker. It's a paid holiday. That is a really good time to be alive. <laughs> Getting a paid day off of work. But I'm sure like, you know what my family used to do? I just liked going out to barbecues to see friends and family that I didn't normally see. 
but we would also go to like our local town's parade every year and I never really was like a huge fan of it. It just, I don't know, I'm not a... Maybe I just don't like parades. It's just, eh. You dislike all the fireworks? I just like, you know, you know what makes me like upset is that here, fireworks are have been going off like every night. It, 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 we're in Canada. Canada Day was July 1st. So you would think that fireworks would just go off on July 1st. But we've had since June 29th fireworks have been going off every day like it's it's a one day thing why do you need to put off fireworks every day like what are you celebrating dude it's supposed to be july 1st and only july 1st i don't want to hear your goddamn fucking fireworks every day and every night <laughs> it's so annoying <laughs> and they're probably gonna have fireworks again tonight just because they can i, I don't even though it's canada it, july 4th doesn't mean shit to us and they're still gonna do it I don't- yeah, Canada's celebrating birthday month! Yeah, it's so dumb, dude. I'm like, you can have your fireworks, sure, but like, can you just put them on July 1st, like, that night? Like, do you really gotta spread this over four days? Ugh. It does feel like a war zone every night. I hate hearing them. It's very annoying. Like, you guys were- wait, on Friday's stream, we had a 14-hour stream, and that was Ju that was June 30th. And at the end of that stream, you guys were hearing fireworks in my stream. Like, it's it's not July 1st. It's, it's super annoying, but they started on June 29th on Thursday. It's so stupid. <sighs> it might be an age thing. Like, Christmas is, and like, holidays are, of course, way more exciting whenever you're younger. And then whenever you're older, I think the most exciting part of it is just having off work. <laughs> That's the adult life. But no, I think, um... It depends on what you do, right? Because, like, all holidays mean the same to me. Except for Christmas, where I actually go to see family. But otherwise, like, I'm always working on holidays. Like, they're, it, uh, holidays are just another day for me to work. It's I treat it the same. Like, I'm a workaholic. I just... I just keep working. <laughs> Fireworks are illegal where you're at. Oh, I feel like that's smart. You live right beside a public park and every weekend it's loud music and shouting until midnight. Oh my god, that sounds like a mess. Early fireworks. No, no. That, I don't need to hear fireworks every night. No. I get that they're a fun thing. For like a night. Mm. Oh, you don't get paid for holidays? Wait, that's ass. It's not paid time off? What? You work in mail? So does my mom. My mom's been working for the post office for like 35 years, man. You know what I think should be the new cool thing instead of fireworks? Have you guys seen those like drone light shows? I think those are way more cool than fireworks will ever be. Fireworks are so limited with like the kind of things you could put in the sky, right? But, like, I love those drone shows. They're so cool. That's way better. We should make... And plus, they're silent. <laughs> I think we should have more of the drone light shows than fireworks in the future. I hope that that's our future. Just slowly ditch fireworks. Yeah, way less dangerous. Yeah, there's a lot of perks to that. <laughs> and you could just... You have so much more flexibility to do really cool things with, like, a drone light show. I've seen some amazingly spectacular visuals. <clears throat> I never, yeah, I've never witnessed a gender reveal party. Um, oh wait, no, I lied. I went to one before for a friend and it was weird. I 
I went just because it was my best friend, you know? <laughs> I still think it's weird. <clears throat> Tokyo Disney has a light show, water projection shit, and it was cool as fuck. Yes, Disney World in Florida also does that. They have multiple different types of light shows, but they still, Disney still does fireworks on top of that though, which I don't like. Air Force displays are awesome too. I never really was a huge fan of them. Like that is something that happens on the 4th of July whenever, um, you know, whenever you have like big parades in cities, they'll have like the Air Force flying over, <laughs> doing some cool shit in the sky. But like, I never really liked that. I don't know. I, I never was a fan of the airplane jets, whatever they do fly over parades and stuff. <laughs> They're weird to me as a concept too, but uh, I mean, I don't know. On, the, on one hand, I don't understand gender reveal parties. However, on the other hand, our work ethic and work-life balance, especially in America, is like so bad that if people need like any excuse to celebrate any little thing, just to like have an escape, and whenever I look at shit like that, I'm like, I kind of get it. Like, you just need something to celebrate to cope. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of depressing. <sighs> How about I reveal a great deal on a VPN? Get out of here. I must, I must, uh, I, I have to bring the bad news that the Surfshark VPN is no more. I'm sorry. So, your segments, Tion. As much as they are appreciated. Your segments are, uh... They're, they're, they're no longer needed. Our segs, you get, you get no, you get none anymore. Well, unless the next sponsor rolls around, which that's in the works right now, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I should actually write that down. Thank you. Hey, the VPN's been a staple in this community for like a year, but we have to move on to bigger, better things. <clears throat> It'll go away starting tomorrow. It'll go away. <laughs> we have to censor the word. You're ready for the next sponsor sex? Okay, okay. You got it, dude. <laughs> All right. I cannot, I, I'm telling you guys though, I cannot wait any longer. I want to play FF16 and I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, we cool? <laughs> I, I want to play vid game and see hot men. <laughs> Dion. Um, <laughs> hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> Bye, Alan. <laughs> Basically, we're kicking Alan out. Go catch up. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, uh, Dion. Um, okay. We have one more side quest. One more. We did all of them yesterday, except for this one. So once this one is done, then we can go on to main story. And then we can see Dion hopefully join the party. I will flip the fuck out. We'll see. I am just giving a warning now. I know he's on his way to the hideaway. He's 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 gonna come back. And I might just squeal a lot if he's like, yeah, I'm gonna join your party. And I'll be like, ah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna lose my mind, man. <laughs> ah, Clive, you'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? All right. What is it this time? More wild beasts? 
Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. <laughs> I hate this pool. <laughs> I'm not down bad for Dion at all. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Don't blame yourself, El. This is their fault, not yours. I know, but... No buts about it, all right? Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the Consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. You had no opportunity to make a counteroffer? None at all. And we were so close. El, What's happened? I, I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. But I thought we were the only ones the Fist was speaking to about the bearers. How did the Consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. Mm. This isn't over. The Consortium will have to sell these bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. I'm going to Randallar myself. Alone? You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? Ah, uh, sure. How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near the capital gate. <laughs> I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Hmm, I like oh, this. Oh, and that's me, is it? Well, it looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from... We're meeting the Silver Peak Consortium. Who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. She'll never join them after this, surely. No, she said it herself. She still has plans for Cashlock, even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us, then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but... Is this what she really wants? Hmm. You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Elle's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. <clears throat> Dion right. is the ideal fantasy Surrender prince. Lava. I must mention that Dion is Emmerich, which is why I love him so much. And Terence is Estinian. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there that I I see what's happening. <laughs> The only difference between Terence and Astinian is Astinian's a sassy motherfucker, and we love him for that. But I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. The relationship is very similar. Mm -hmm. I'm just I, I see the inspiration for Dion from Emmerich, and uh, yep, that's uh, I'm just. I it's the truth. The only difference is his personality. The personality is vastly different between Terence and Asinian. However, what I mean is the role that they play in the story.
safe. Are they still chasing me? Holy shit. Bro. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with the consortium? Here they are now. You wish to consult with me? I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The Consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not mutual. And so we resumed our business. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. The bearers belong to him now. Who is your buyer? A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound unusual. No matter then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. My associates will be sorry to hear that. Hmm. I don't know why, I just feel so much tension. I feel like in this kind of a lifestyle, you just always have to live on edge because you can't really trust anyone. I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I, but I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. They deserved more. Hmm. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. Uh. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. The only Can't wait to fight that. To help them off as best they can, but the odds are against them. They need help, and fast. Theo! I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. I'll gather some men and join you there. Just make sure he's safe. No oh boy. Uh. Oh, jeez. Uh, you absolutely could to cut the tension. But yeah, just think about it. Dion versus Emmerich, right? So... Dion is in a position where he, like, kind of has to take over Sombrick because, you know, everybody is who was running Sombrick is dead. Uh... <laughs> uh Emmerich started an uprising and he was like the only person fit for the job and then the, this is like Dion's situation so uh I, I it's unfortunate 
But I think he's gonna be a little bit busy and tied to the office. But it is pretty much the same. Where am I going? Okay, the right way. I love this game and everybody should play this game. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Back to the stables, girl. What's the situation? Seriously, though. I genuinely feel like people are missing out if you don't play this game. It is way too good. Oh, the music is nasty. Theodore. Up river. He led the dragon that way to keep it from the village, but the whole area is flooded with ether. We just have to pray he makes it out in one piece. I can do better than that. Toggle with me. Hmm. You still want more? Oh. <laughs> I just I don't know. Come on. I'm genuinely scared of finishing this game. I'm trying to take it slow, even though I had a 14 hour stream. But the rest of these streams I'm really trying to take it slow because I genuinely don't want it to end. Time to fight. This game is way too fucking good. I'm gonna be balling my freaking eyes out when this is over, just because it's over. No matter what the ending is. Ah, I'm a be Satch. I mean, even if you don't have a PS5, just wait to play this game on PC in a year and a half to two years. I still highly recommend it. Theodore before that dragon does. Enter said dragon. Looks like it's found me. Oh, you got your whiskers. Well. This isn't going to be easy. plays Torg at the end of the game you play as Torgle. <laughs> that would be very cute.
almost there. Oh, okay. That that's it then. Sweet. Uh Rover, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate the support. Enjoy your emotes. wagon dead the dragon's little whiskers were so cute though Clive? <laughs> Vito, you had me worried for oh I think it might be a little too late for that there are or no, there's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid, for finishing what I could not. For keeping Elle's dream. Theodore. Side quests, am I right? <laughs> Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery, he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. 
a late bloomer in more ways than one for unlike most bearers it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened my parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables but before they could I took him into mine Theo told me something else she clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time. How much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him, and that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together, and you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... I know Theo wanted me to move on, but I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people, save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do, ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be, bringing smiles to people's faces just like we always have, and to Theo's. Wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen. <laughs> the life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. I sure as hell didn't expect that side quest to go that way. Holy shit. Oof. What a nice heavy way to end this stream. <laughs> to start the stream, not end it. Oh my god. new missive i kind of want to read those let me take a second to read those oh, the stew's awful It's hard to believe Theo's gone. Every morning I wake, I expect him to be there in the stables, watering the birds or readying the packs, yet he is not. And it is everything I can do not to fall to my knees and weep. Still, I know I have to move on, but that doesn't mean I have to forget. My brother and I built all we have here together, so as long as I still have the caravans, he will ever be with me. And I shall honor him in death by carrying on what he strove for in life. That is what I choose. Telemon made. <laughs> 
Thanks again for helping to get the dungeon in order. Had you not rode gallantly to our rescue, I reckon poor Owain and them lot would still be stuck stealing blight water over a bonner. There's always room for improvement though, so don't get your knickers on a knot should I come a knocking at your chamber door looking for more spheres and ash and whatnot, of course, mid. <laughs> uh, rekindling the flame. Oh, right, that side quest. What happened in Eastpool and the Bearers and the Guardians have been long time coming, and I'm proud that it could finally happen here in Rosaria. That the, the Duchy of Old may be no more, but Archduke Elwyn's dream still burns in the hearts of many. And it is through victories such as these that that fire will spread. This is only the beginning, Clive. For a fine beginning, it is. Aww. Ah! I'm not okay! <sighs> Thanks for the stream, Crystal. I hate you. <laughs> Get out of here. Maybe we've run out of happy or not. Let me see. I will quickly check my weapon and then we will actually continue plot. Crazy. I'm not sure if I have access to a better one. No, I don't think so. Okay, Ragnarok is just really it right now. Actually, let's look at crafting. Okay, yeah, I probably should be using these. It lost you a good while. It better. You can thank me later. Uh... Yeah, we're probably going to have more emotional scenes. I still really feel bad for Dion. Even I don't know what the fuck he's going to do to, like, rebuild, you know? No scratches, right? Good luck with that, buddy. Because, like, he's pretty much on his own. Well, I guess he has his Dragoon army. Like, he has his soldiers, but that's... Not as that's not a lot. My best work, but it'll do. And okay, continuing the main story, which hopefully means Dion gets his ass to the fucking hideaway. Although Joshua said he was gonna meet up with him, so we might not actually see that part. I think I think they're gonna do their own thing. I don't know. All right, talk to me, Vivian. I still say we're a compliment. Show me that beautiful map. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. <laughs> but interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God, okay. Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Uh, not gonna lie, Barnabas he's kind of tough to understand. He arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man. 
before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. <laughs> you see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge <laughs> and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. <laughs> Probably more visits. <laughs> I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, let's go fetch Joshua. Uh. I just got done. What? What do you mean there's another side quest? I just did eight of them. Today, I thought I was in the clear for Here's like a long received, time now. Everything promised. Here you are. Uh. All done. This better be the only one. It's only one. Okay, it's only one. I wanted to give you something for the kindness you showed my mentor. Aww. What's this? A chest of all the medicines you're ever likely to need. Seeing as you're so reluctant to come to the infirmary, I thought you might as well take a part of the infirmary with you. <laughs> I'm sure it will be very helpful indeed, Antaya. Try not to work too hard. And work Rodrigue all the harder, you mean? He's a quick study. But he's got a long way to go yet. I'll take that particular piece of advice when you heed it yourself, thank you very much. Besides, who else is going to see that your brother takes his medicine? Uh. Who oh, indeed. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right, there's only one side quest. <gasps> oh, Yote! Oh, I think I, I think I'll enjoy this quest. Yote. Is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. 
It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But His Grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Anything for Unless Joshua. Unless we secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. For Joshua? Anything. Oh, Joshua. Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, Yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord, Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Let's go help out Joshua. I will do anything. Whatever it takes. Although, I don't know, man. I'm just saying, by the end of this game, Joshua's dead. Like, I don't want to say that. But I don't see a world where Joshua Good lives God. at the end of this game and, like, everybody lives happily what ever after, you know? People are gonna die. More people are gonna die. I don't know if there is a happily ever after. Uh, Joshua's dead. I'm sorry. He's gonna die. I don't make the rules. I really don't. Is the aqueduct. Now to find our stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petals. What was my prediction at the beginning? My prediction at the beginning of the game was that um, Joshua is going to get fully possessed by Ultima. And then he'll be the final boss of the game.
time to help Joshua. Here it is. Better collect as much as I can before reinforcements arrive. All right. That should do it. <sighs> My brain is just like going nuts so with thinking how this game is going to go. Covered in nicks and lumps. My little prediction brain. All right, time to help Joshua. Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Better be. Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. Hmm. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. No. I beg you, my lord. Do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. That was like a short and sweet quest. I very much enjoyed that. Oh, I have like 5,000 ability points. I should do something with that. Ooh, I think I want to upgrade. Let's see. Let's take a look at Shiva real quick. Sh -sh 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 Shiva. Uh, diamond dust upgrade. What does that mean? Increases number of ice blasts to two and increases the hits for each blast. I think that that's worth it. But I also want a uh, cold snap upgraded, I think. So if I master it, it increases the permafrost duration. Mm. I know. I'll start off with diamond dust. And I actually think I should also upgrade my limit break. So if it's mastered... It adds a third limit break gauge, which I actually find very beneficial, so I should do that. Alright, cool. All my points, gone. Main story! Hey, look at me go! Side quest done, I can do the main story. Let's go say hi to Joshua. How do you <sighs> split the sea? Can finally do the main story. As long as I see Dion today, I'm happy. Which I don't think there's a world where we don't see Dion today. Aw, Torgo, you are so cute. Hope adrift on foam flecked I like that Torgal just sits by the bard and listens to him. The perfect place to sleep. Good boy. Hmm. Imagine if we didn't have the pet dog, though, for this game. Holy shit. Emotional support Torgal, who is also badass. Roseman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. About damn time. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. Yes. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive. Have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? 
What the fuck I is think that? Not if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the crystalline orthodox. Wait. You said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. Moss. <laughs> That is so funny. That you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all <laughs> along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. <laughs> Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Admit it, I can ride the Enterprise. Oh my god, shut up, child. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details. Only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but it's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention, as well as slow our march and require supplies, which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. Oh, but that doesn't scout. include Dion. <laughs> Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at of the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters. Fly merchant colors and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. I mean... Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. Hmm. But... Very well. <laughs> Joshua's like, but I can fly. <laughs> there are no questions. I'll see you all at the docks. <laughs> I don't get that. We don't need the safe passage home. Joshua can just fucking need. fly and carry me. We go. Like, we're fine. Oh. Speak with Otto. Joshua, what do you have to say? I am certain we will find what we seek in Ash and learn the truth of Ultima's origins. I like that these are voiced too. My God, even the basic dialogue. Jesus. He has icon cancer. He'll be fine. He's done it how many times? What the fuck? Split the sea. It's like a little tiny moth. I want to murder him. Anyway, hi, Otto. Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off safe. Otto, you, you always do that. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> So that means Otto has to deal with Dion when he comes in. Because that's where he's headed, right? 
Good luck with that. No, they would probably tell him, right? So in that situation, Dion's probably headed back to the hideaway. He's trying to find Joshua to, like, repay his debt. He goes back to the hideaway. Otto tells him where we're going. And he just shows up and helps us. I like this idea. This is this is now what's totally going to happen in the plot. I'm just... <clears throat> I like Dion. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just wanted to show up. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. <gasps> understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. <clears throat> but I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. I don't. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. Oh. <sighs> Think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? <laughs> that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. <laughs> Damn. I love this. I love the exchange of just like them smiling at each other. Oh, good brother relationship. Always wanted to visit Ash. <laughs> We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? I'm sure it's shit. I don't know. Whoa. A new map, new me. Let's go. Ah. Woo. I don't know, what man. I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Oh, this place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. Oh, Jesus. But, um, I don't know, man. I don't feel like it's a good idea to collect all these icons at the end of the day. Uh, for Clive. It just seems like what Ultima wants at the end. You know, like, it just doesn't seem like a good thing. I feel like we... Oh, do I actually... Okay. 
Uh, Be safe. Don't worry, I'm fine. But at the end of the day, like, we're just completing our vesselness. I don't know how to word that where it's not awkward, but. It's over. All right, cool, cool. Glad we got that covered, but yeah. But damn, that was a solid punch from Joshua. I almost want to give him like a high five for that one. <laughs> I didn't expect it, it's but Camberall, it's very welcome. Where the hell are the royalists? Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clyde. <sighs> I know, yeah, someone needed to do it. It's best that it comes from Joshua, because, like, Jill sure as hell can't do that. Oh, also, let me punch Dion in the face. I think Joshua's the perfect person for that. Can, can Joshua just, like, go around punching people in the face to knock some sense into them? Because I think Dion needs that next. Aye, aye. Holy fuck! the whole of Ash fallen into Ultima's hands. That's no peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Aww. I like the trust in the family. Our mark is Drake's spine. And there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Hi. You never know. It might not be an Estes Labyrinth monsters. <sighs> it definitely will be. Clive. You must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate. Perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets. And if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. Yeah, yeah mostly. Yeah, I was gonna... Bitch! <laughs> you sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Is so old, it's hard to tell which foreshadowing, huh? Is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastla. Can we make our way there? It's we okay. Survive. If Josh was in Josh trouble, Josh Dion's gonna be there to save the day. I'm convinced. He's gonna literally swoop in and save Joshua as a thank you, paying him back. This place reeks like I love the awesome. banter so much. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that'll kill us. The smell's gonna kill me, freaking Gav. Jeez, not, not about you. <sighs> Everything looks like shit here. Jesus. No signs of life whatsoever. How is this even a country if there's no people? Like, where are the bitches at? Very scary bridge. Oh god. Bahamut's breath. Uh, don't look down. Bahamut's breath? What are you saying? Dion's breath smells bad. <laughs> no, it's the Giga Flare, but still. It's funny. It's that a funny thought. 
All right, here we go. Bye, Ambrosia. Now. What do you think, Clive? People live here. Late. No? Oh, people did live here. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. Yeah, no we quarter. just, uh... No quarter. if there's any people that live here at all because it sure as hell doesn't seem like it. to play it it'll be a few weeks before we can start rank code gotta finish this game and ghost trick first
It's so satisfying to kill people with Judgment Bolt. Oh, did we get a level up? Oh, yeah! 42, baby! Gav, you okay? Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. What? <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, God. I did not expect that. to watch, Odin? <laughs> the hell? Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Shit. Why, with this? FF14. That has a name. Oh shit. The horse has an extra set of legs. No! Oh, wait, does it? Yeah, it does. What? I, <laughs> I never looked at the horse before. Uh, it has six legs instead of uh, four. Clive, <laughs> would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? It's they're going to die. Hmm. Oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? I want to kill this thing that is flying around me. We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, <laughs> We don't even know where the fucker went. How yeah. about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? All right. Maybe there's something here we can use. What? What? What do you mean? Something? What? He was like, what? We are so fucked. I thought we got them all. So did I. I can't believe people are alive. Please, please no. Uh, 
Miss. <laughs> Whoa, easy, easy. We're not turned, all right? <laughs> Women. Torgal's such a good boy. He's keeping a lookout. My thanks, kind travelers. Aww. Edda, forgive me for asking, but what went on here? started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. told us when we misbehave what about how the heavens would grow dark before the lamp took her last breath the end of the world you said the others went mad but where did they go they they all left East to the tower to reverie the elders the healer the blacksmith mm. my husband you're thinking he did this of course who else could it be you were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. Then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... It's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower, that's where we'll find the king. We literally can't leave. I just like, I'm kind of worried about Gav right now. Oh, he's not in it. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be. So that's the full thing? The Holy shit. It's complete. Oh boy. Ultima and this vessel are free. Garuda, Ra. 
Hanlon, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. Oh, they actually did put him in the game. I like how they say the Lost, though. What happened there? I was wondering, because that's a pretty iconic primal to not be in the game. Oh. Uh. By the founder. So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? Oh no. <laughs> so that's how it's going to be then. Dude, I said that so long ago asking, and I hate it. <laughs> I need you to stay with Edda. I must do this alone. Like, there's a gameplay reason, like, if there's a lore reason to as to why you can't Joshua have both the Enterprise. icons of fire on Understood. at the same time and equipped. I... Just don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Aww. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm dying. There's a lore reason for the microwave beeping. Oh, sorry. My mic always picks that up. I can't do anything about it. Then wherever he goes, they'll follow. I'm sorry about the beeping. And so will I. <sighs> I'm just happy to hear, like, a mention, um, because, yeah, it was just unsure about... See, my reasoning, I was trying to come up with reasons why they put wouldn't put, like, a Leviathan in here, and, uh, I was thinking, like, oh, in technicality, it sounds really complicated to put Leviathan in the game, because wouldn't you need water? I don't know, you can't just be like a floaty snake in the sky. Everybody, every other icon can like walk or fly or do something, but like, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a water serpent, uh, but a floaty water serpent? I don't know, it sounds weird. <laughs> so I was wondering about the, like, the logistics of it. I thought that was the reason why they chose not to put it in. But I like that there's, uh, there actually is a mention, so Time we might, uh, get more on it. I would be curious to know. I don't know why, but, like, a flying horse right. makes sense. Uh, th how, how does it make sense? I don't fucking know. Just a flying snake doesn't to me. Uh, okay, I know that doesn't sound like I don't know, I'm cool with the flying Odin because clearly that bitch is so fucking powerful. Can just defy all the laws of everything. No mistakes. I'm just ignoring everything. Man, I wish I had a mini map on my screen so I don't have to open up my map every two goddamn seconds. Water vapor in the air, he can travel through that. I think that's a stretch. <laughs> this is it, boy. This 
Sure is weird. No more side quests. No more. <laughs> it's just plot time, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Leviathan the Lost. I thought all the icons had, like, GPS sensors inside of them. You could, like, sense each other's presence. That's how they know each other. That's how Dion knew Joshua on site. They have, like, a... I don't know. They have a weird telepathy. I've come for you. That's how Odin just found us. Barnabas. How can Leviathan get lost? You have a GPS sensor, don't you? Stay close, Torgo. <laughs> Leviathan saw this coming and he said, fuck this shit, I'm out. It would be cool if he just like randomly showed up later. Maybe he will. I won't rule it out. They said that there was a period of time... Ooh, the last king. I don't like the sound of that. They said that there was a period of time where they, Barnabas never made any move. So... What if he never made a move because they're, like, restricted and stranded by water, but they're worried about the threat of Leviathan? Is that... is that far-fetched? Maybe they never went to the water whenever they like uh more than necessary i should say because they were just afraid of leviathan fucking them up it's just a thought You see Leviathan peek out of the water and he just leaves. <sighs> Bloody fallen. Why do all their flaws seem to have a mind of their own? Hmm. Torgal. We got this, right, buddy? You and me, we got this. Top the 14 theme. Hmm. Which Leviathan theme are we talking? There's so many different ones now. Are we talking like Eden, where it's like Leviathan, Leviathan, Leviathan? That's a wow! I made that in time. I thought I was gonna fucking die. Let's go.
yeah that one i mean it is a good song but for me that raids a lot in ff14 it's like i was really tired of the leviathan fight and the music because it was just awful to run in party finder every week dude that tsunami mechanic no one did right every single week and i'm still tainted by that holy shit in Party Finder, but... Eh. Shadowbringers had its rough times. Leviathan was definitely one of those fights that was super rough in Party Finder. Did not enjoy that. If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world. Nah. True. True. P3S, which one was that? Was that birds? There's still one more. Wait, was that Leviathan? Holy shit. Did I go the wrong way? Fucking hell. Oh, of course, it's the blue light on the door that I should be going toward. I like that the enemies also don't despawn. They just kind of like, the bodies just stay there, as they should. The bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Where's the 
we're still trying to go up. Dude, this is a terrible tower. Barnabas, you live like this? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What is... Doesn't seem healthy. Well, that's new. Though I expected more like a rest. Well, he died fast. <laughs> that poor guy. What was that thing? Hopefully there aren't any more. Yeah, we can take another one. It's fine. Oh, are these like spiral stairs? Let's go. I really like the combat in this game, even though sometimes it might be easy. It's... <laughs> For some reason, I'm not bothered because I feel like a badass and I don't care as long as I feel like a badass. And this game sure as hell does a really good job of making me feel cool. Another elevator? Jesus, how many elevators do we have to go on? Barnabas really likes his goddamn elevators. A super tall tower. Cutscene though, so maybe we're at the end. Ball. Ball. Spinning ball. Come on, then. It is a ball. Too slow. Cells? Are 
Are you kidding me? I literally just used everything I had. and stored in the balls. This game teaches you a lot of things. A lot of valuable things in life. Oh my god, more shit? <sighs> is this part of the Barnabas exam? I'm beginning to think it is. I have to pass my exams. Diamond Dust has a relatively short cooldown. It comes back pretty fast. Golden section. Holy shit, I almost died. Oh my god. I just went for it. Woo! I'm fine. Ain't nothing bad ever happened. Nope. Rain? What? Uh -uh. <laughs> There's no ceiling? <laughs> Who would build a tower like this? Barnabas. That's actually a really good answer. Just Barnabas is stupid. Almost there. Great. Love that. My health is in danger. <laughs> oh, now it's not in danger. I didn't use any potions, so. Yeah, well, we're fine. It's our tears after no Dion for two hours. That's such a good answer. <laughs> I do be crying. He's still not here. I have a... I have a feeling that he'll show up, though, right after this. If not during this. I'm just huge. 
Thank you, Del, for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes. Stop giving me small fry. Why? The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Butcha. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception. Ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep, they roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, Every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? Hmm. <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, Back in the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens, and they prayed to God that He might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, He did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether, and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. Proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering, shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living?
What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> it's really hard for me to comprehend the mindset of these kinds of people. Very well. Come then. It just sounds so insane. Zeus, the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. Oh, that transition was sick. I'm ready to get my ass whooped again. If you think your will the stronger, prove it. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You shall know the truth. His health is barely going down. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. That's insane. I did all of that and his health barely went down. I wonder if I could parry that. I'm just so pussy right now. I don't know if I want to try. I'm like super nervous to try stuff right now. Wasted my diamond dust, you ass. God chose you to serve as his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope when there is none. Ugh. Fuck. Fuck is right. He has so much help. so much bigger than Ifri. I'm so small. I am the smallest icon. sword. His sword seems to be doing uh, a lot of uh, damage. Just just take it. Then just throw it away. He's, he's powerless. You have been shown the path. Now you must follow it. Free yourself, Mythos. You will not defeat me otherwise. We'll see. Perhaps you shall 
Wait, so now we're not icons. Okay. Why am I doing this? This is a bad idea. It's my two minute burst window. Um, Okay, that was pretty badass. Nice stab, bro. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Oh, jeez. tower oh god we're just this is not this is not good took you for.
<laughs> Don't tell me you are tired, Mythos. That laugh. Oh. Your stubborn defiance has stirred my long becalmed heart, filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations. I had thought the tantalizing kiss of self-indulgence a dream forever out of reach. And now that its sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish it. Show me your work, Mythos, that I might revel in it! Is that like a piccolo? Insane, but he's matching.
capture? Circle of Malleus, wait, that's the thing that we were told about. Wait, what? That's like supposed to be... Or maybe well, just the helmet. That oh, was just the helmet. The Damn. His pretty head is still there. Pretty insane fucking and we both head. Know the truth. Holy shit. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Oh my god. You sound crazy! <laughs> Clive Rossfield. He looks fine. Falling off a tower is nothing. Just turn into Odin and just like... <laughs> Use Slifner to fly away. <laughs> Slain, really, huh? Huh. Okay. I will say, though, I do love the blue on his armor, though. So much. Perhaps there is strength in will. Would that I had not relinquished my own. <laughs> hmm? You relinquished nothing. What was it? If not will that made you strive for a new world. Strive to win your master's approval. I... You were shown a fantasy. And you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world. But the one we live in. world that world is worth saving even if it means killing a god yeah like my jrpg ass just loves to do all the time just kill gods Fulfill our destinies. 
Just as the Lord's mother crystals have fulfilled theirs. Just cut his arm off. You have a sword. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Yeah, he's forcing the power on him. Yeah, I was wondering why he just didn't do this earlier, but the dude's just so fucking insane. He could have done this back when we got Jill back. I thought that he was going to do it then. At long last, salvation. I'm coming home. Oh, that's awkward. That was what Ultima showed him. Oh my god. Tell me, how does it feel? Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. It's not yours yet. No. Don't say yet. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again. I think Clive's fine. <laughs> yeah, so this wall is gone now, right? I'm sure Josh was all Gucci. <sighs> Meanwhile, in Garlemald, oh God. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just. <laughs> Uncle Byron! No, 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 no! Run! Woo! Why the hell is my city going with the captain? Don't ask me, ask them! Since when was I can have all one to hide when there was a fight to be had? Since they stripped me of my rank and banished me from the battlefield. Now I'm stuck fighting the backsides of this lot while the city burns and my wife tells off the man half my age! And then you turn up! What the hell are you doing here anyway? What do you mean what the hell is Byron doing? He's being a giga chat! Shut up! What indeed? <laughs> The enemy numbers 200,000 or more counting the Europe. There are simply not enough soldiers counting in the capital to repel an army of that size. 
them, one of the central keep. Held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding forest. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was... Wow, uh, uh, Dion, we could sure use your fucking help. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> yeah, perspective. Perhaps it's what we've lacked all along. Oh, Jesus. Get him, Byron. I swear to God, don't kill Byron. I need the Giga Chat alive. I need you to lend me some of your best men. Preferably all of them. Preferably all of them. I admit this might not be the most convenient time, but my nephew's in trouble. And I may have already promised him your help. Your nephew, the outlaw. <laughs> my soldiers, I better think to do than die for nothing. Then you and he are of the same mind. You are a mess, Uncle Byron. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He fights for a world in which he shouldn't have to live and die for nothing. And he fights today to give us all the chance. This is a great time to bring this up. Tomorrow, be that as it may. A handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom. Who does? The dragoons? Then mayhap they are the wrong men. Yeah! <laughs> 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 yes! Are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. Yeah! You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, your radiance. Yes, bitch! Get out there! And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. Hell yeah, you do. Mmm! <laughs> I am vouch for my so nephews? happy. Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needed. Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Oh, Quickly. Terence is okay. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. You are to the see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. No, that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence. Start crying. Oh, God, no, don't. No. Fuck. Mm, <laughs> Shit.
Clive, thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. Than Barnabas. The king is dead. They are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You save. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Ah. Uh, he didn't consider it killing, or a mercy of sorts, a way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That's the Final that Fantasy theme. Oh. That doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. <laughs> Barnabas said something else. That the mother crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? We know that the mother crystals have been leading the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. 
What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freak that he desires, but a freak and Phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then, only this time, we face him together. <laughs> well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. Hmm, I... Why am I sad? When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. Just one quest? Just one. Mm. I love Dion so much, but every time he comes on screen, I die a little inside. <laughs> I just want to punch that man in the face so hard. <laughs> Good person is ass. You were right, Joshua. Bodies up ahead. Is there no peace for a dying man? What happened here? The ether floods. Made savage priests of my companions. And those faithless orcs, I knew they weren't to be trusted. We were told 
that they would stay loyal to our cause. Something commanded their loyalty, but it was not us. It's a wonder they stayed faithful for so long. Perhaps they sensed our downfall. The king is gone. Our nation in ruins. <laughs> what becomes of us loyal pawns now? Sworn to a shattered throne. Fuck Wallowed. <clears throat> Fuck the dead king and his god. <clears throat> Fuck this withered shithole. <sighs> Floods do not affect you. You are a bearer, albeit one who's lost his brand. Pray, hear me, brother. Will you grant this pawn his final wish? Will you lay my dying soul to rest? <sighs> this goddamn game. <laughs> Of course. What do you need? Uh, finally, some luck. Beyond the castle walls, towards stone here, there is a forest. Never turn. My parents are buried upon the bluff, nestled amongst the trees. Theirs was the only love I ever knew. I was torn from them in life, but perhaps I can return to them in death. Take my ring. See that it rests beside their bones. <sighs> May you find peace at last. This game is so heavy, man. It's insane. <laughs> I thought this said video games. Vidar Grays. I thought it said video games. <sighs> this music is so pretty. It's just... Final Fantasy. an ugly ass portrait. <sighs> oh, abilities, right. I'm supposed to look at Odin. I'm emotional, sorry. <laughs> this game is a lot to deal with. <sighs> Holy shit, that's cool. Okay. So you can hold to ready Zang Tetsukin. Release to execute. Oh, they don't feel the limit gauge too. Ugh. My brain is tired. It's so hard to deal with all this shit in the game. It sounds stupid. It's just all really heavy shit. I feel like I feel like I am <laughs> I feel like I'm the kind of person that can only handle like so much of this before my gauge is just like maxed out for the day, man. <laughs> that and I'm also getting depressed that like I can feel the end of the game coming. <laughs> so that's making me depressed too. Uh... So 
So I can increase my mastery to level five. Uh, by having the sword, but what are the other abilities? So, Gungir. <sighs> Each hit lands, fills the gauge. Okay. Rift slip. Recover immediately from any ability or action. Dancing steel. Hmm. I want to try Odin, but later. <sighs> get on the. Let's go. <laughs> Why wouldn't you get on the chocobo, you idiot? Um, man, I just. I'm getting, the more I play the game, the more, like, naive I'm getting. I'm like, oh, I just want a really happy ending. <laughs> but why do I feel like it's not going to be happy? We beat up Ultima, and Joshua and Clive can live happily ever after, rebuilding Rosaria. The only way to the capital. Dion goes back to Sombrick, and he adopts the medicine girl in Terrence back. Everybody's just happy. I just fucking hate everything. There, Joshua. Yes, but I don't see any dominance. I just. Uh, Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Ah. Time to fight. Jill and Clive with five kids running around. Yeah, that'd be a nice ending too. Not an untamed soldier. Nice. So, then we end their suffering. What do you want? I think I've lost count of how many times I've cried in this game, which is rare. Normally I can count, but I've lost track of how many times this game has made me cry. And I think that this game might actually take the record. Like, I think that this game has made me cry the most out of any game I've ever played. Just the number of times. I've lost track. what you just saw. I like how I charged into them. I think I've become dumb in battle. What is wrong with me? Holy 
Holy shit. Joshua. This one's bigger than the others. He teleports, and I kind of hate it. character gay i mean that always sounds great in theory but there is so much nuance to that you can't like you kind of can't in a way we can rest here if you like you don't want forced representation i'll be fine because that ends up being more of a bad thing than a good thing Dion has done really well because it feels like a very natural and a very good representation. It doesn't feel forced at all, but the moment that you start forcing it just to have representation, it does the opposite of good. It just creates this like Look, group of people that's like gonna claim, oh, this game's just woke. Like, I'd have found that. The place is a fortress. It's complicated. This place is huge. Holy shit. Ready, go? <sighs> yeah! Look at those ballistas. Oh my god. Crazy. No villages. No knights. Not even any bodies. One could almost believe the whole kingdom had turned to Kashyyyk. There's nobody left. I just want to look behind me and see the Great Wall. I like all the lightning in the background too, but I also hate it because now I'm reminded of, that Straight I miss it a now. lot. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, hello. Surprise, A-Rank. You look so cute. Oh my god. That's no ordinary code. It is a shithole, yeah.
keep on bringing up Donald Duck? I don't understand. Like, I keep seeing this name thrown in my chat and I'm just so fucking scared. Or do you want to know? Um, unless it's a spoiler. I don't know why that would be a spoiler in any way, but sure. I'm, I'm just confused. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Come on. Oh, Kingdom Hearts Donald Duck. Okay, I'm going to stop reading right there. <laughs> Out of fear for... Okay, I th just stop right there. I don't want to know anymore. So you guys are talking about Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Supposed to be like looking. Big lookout area, Jesus. Oh, there it is. I want to bury the ring, let me. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh. I can't tell if the. Joshua and Torgal really want to go fight. <laughs> no, not this time. to see all the way to stone here. As fine a resting place as any man could hope for. Reunited with those he loves at last. I hate this game. <sighs> Ready, go. I'm gonna try playing Kingdom Hearts again later. Sorry, I, I I'm like self-conscious about my current mood. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I sound <laughs> weird. I'm just coping. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I want to try playing Kingdom Hearts again. I tried Kingdom Hearts 1 10 years ago, and I hated it. <laughs> so, I want to give it another try since it's been 10 years and see if I like it 10 years later, because that sometimes happens. Does it bother you that we haven't heard a single so, human sound? Everything yeah, about I'm this gonna give this series me. another try soon, see if I can get behind Kingdom Hearts. surrounded well general rule of thumb with like being courteous in other people's chats is like don't put spoilers for other games in general because you never want to assume that everybody has played the same game you have so it's not very nice to just put spoilers for other games outright for anybody not just me before the storm there's only one way into that city across the bridge through the main gate <sighs> right into the midst of whatever is left of the late king's army are you ready for this no as ready as I'll ever be I'm 
not ready. <laughs> Drake Spine, here we go. The same thing with everything in this fucking country. Of good fortune, perhaps. <sighs> everybody dies. It's everybody. There's just no humans left. I hope you're right. So do I. Streets of madness. That sounds pleasant. They're covered in jam. The ether has the moon. Oh god. Let's see that we're not next. Oh my god, Dom. <laughs> Dom came in to say now he knows that everybody dies. He doesn't want the 16 spoils. I do. Wait, did I just go backwards? Fucking hell I did. What am I doing? <sighs> don't answer this question. No. I don't want to. looked before everything went to shit? Yeah, that's a good question. It looks like the structures that are here look really, really cool. God, look at the water. Is that not fucking incredible? Sheesh. Just looking at water is insane. <laughs> I can't say it out loud. Dom doesn't want spoilers. He's listening. Classic. Finally. Thank you. You're not looking. Thank you for the potatoes. Finally. They saved the best for last, right? Okay, Dom's gone. I can save Behemoth now. Dom has noise canceling headphones. Well, what are we waiting but for? But he's literally in the kitchen, which is right next to me. He can't dull. I think Bahamut Bahamut, oh my god, Behemoth just looks like a a cute cuddly kitty that I just wanna I just wanna hold. Yeah, it's a 
kitty. A behemoth is just a kitty. No need to think of it otherwise. What, you guys don't think that behemoths are just kitties? Just nice, cuddly Look at it. Oh! That can't be good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stand back. I'll conjure a ward. Okay, can you not? That wasn't too bad. That <laughs> was just the beginning. Uh, I love them. Yeah, he did. Well, 
we killed a behemoth, as we should in a Final Fantasy game. Quickly, before we're cut off for good. If it is like the others, the entrance to the inner sanctum will be at the foot of the crystal. We're almost there. Are we though? Are we almost there? I feel like we've been going toward this for a while now. Mm -mm. Oh great, there's more. This might take a while. So many. Jeez, Joshua. Just annihilated that guy. Joshua will be showing everybody up. I don't think I can get through this gate. How do we get through that? Joshua's here is open. Oh, oh, yeah, Joshua's going this way. We follow Joshua. He's the smart one. I didn't get the smart genes. Hmm. Of course he got some moves. Because Joshua is the best. Oh boy. This is where we came from, I think. Joshua, you were supposed to lead the way, okay. <laughs> it just feels so fitting to be with my brother right now. I love it way too much. It's extremely precious. Oh. Wasted five years to make a move like on Jill. Is that what you're talking about? That's fucking random. Not what I was expecting. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh god.
Joshua. Oh, you're so bad at it. Every time he does that, though, he, like, keels over. You're dumb. Ugh. Brother, you're stupid. You're kidding yourself. Hmm. <clears throat> Whoa. That statue, though. That's nice. Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be easy targets. We weren't before? Then we better move quickly. Six legs, man. Why is this rolling back and forth? <laughs> oh god, this guy again? Come on, then. What are you waiting for? Undertaker. Either he got a lot weaker or I got a lot stronger. I'm gonna say I got a lot stronger just so I feel better about myself. Through the castle then. I don't see any other way. I love these statues of Slifner. Holy shit. They're awesome. Thank you for making me feel better, Shiri. <laughs> oh, rat! Got some nice rat in here. now in the chat has all the games that I've played if you would like to see it. Hmm. Still deserve a playable role? Highly disagree. It's about the brothers. Only Joshua and Clive should. This ain't about Jill. Real. No worries. If you ever want to know what games I've played or what I'm planning to play next, I just got a list. You are all good. because we're supposed to be one in the, the like to, I feel like it's poetic in a gameplay way too. We're supposed to be one in the same. So 
sorry if I seem super sexy, by the way. This game is putting me in a mood. <laughs> Ultima's Thralls? Hmm. That's what they're calling them. My god. Also, my alerts have been muted for a while. I'm sorry. Luxier, thank you so much for the 28 bits. Faye, thank you so much for the six months. Uh, Mitch, thank you so much for the 23 months. Uh, Guy Monkey, thank you so much for the prime sub. And Dell, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I think that's everything that's happened in the past hour. So thank you, guys. Just at this point in the game, I think I want to keep my alerts muted for now. Until I get past this big section. Jesus. Yeah, that's what I, I think narratively, I wouldn't want to play as any other character besides Josh and Clive. I think it just makes more sense for the gameplay and story. It's just supposed to be about them. Oops, I was about to go the wrong way and then Torgal saved the day. There are so many enemies, yeah. Uber Skippy, thank you so much for the 35 months too. I appreciate it. would just not use his ability and just let me take care of everything. <laughs> like, sweetie, just let me take care of it. We'll go. Thanks, buddy. Let's hope this works. Oh, God, even more. like the idea of having two ninjas to fight, because one is a giant pain in the ass. window. Oh god, there's more! Oh, I just did everything. Clive sounds he's like he's done with the city. Do you blame him? There's just constant Akeshic everywhere. It's a never-ending sea of enemies. It just... It just doesn't end. Ever! They keep coming! Stop 
stunning graphics, I know. I'm not a big person in gaming that feels like I need to have amazing graphics to have a good game. I will say, though, for FF16, the wonderful part about having amazing graphics is I get so much more emotion from the acting of the characters without needing words, and I love that so much. So, like, I don't necessarily need words to describe actions or- oh my god, what- what was that bullshit? But yeah, because the acting is so good and the- and the graphics are so good to capture the acting and the gestures, because, uh, I don't know, I've always been that person that, like, actions always speak so much louder than words ever can. And you can portray that so much better and easier whenever you have, uh, graphics. It just adds so much. It adds so much. Hopefully this is our last... Hopefully, I'm hoping this is our last boss. It won't be, but... I can tell these guys just don't quit. I thought I dodged that! Holy... To me, boy. Wow. work out so well. Well, he's dead now. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I just think that the true powerhouse of Square Enix right now is the combo between like Koji, Soken, Yoshi P. Whatever they do and whatever they There's touch no in tell. life is just god tier. The whole bloody army's here. Stand back, Joshua. I'm summoning a freight. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die? Oh my god! That was so badass! Holy shit, man! See you be a dragoon and not Bahamut. That's awesome. Yes, I need more of that. But she's not alone. Oh! Ah! Oh, more of Holy shit. Oh, I was getting so tired of fighting all these Akeshic bitches, and that just completely lightened up my mood. Surprised to see us. Yes. Oh, Jill's dear. smile is so precious. Dab. He told us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. This is what I mean by great acting and great graphics. Literally right here. She is so much more expressive and happy. And it's so noticeable. And when we saw the heavens come crashing down, we had no choice but to believe him. <laughs> It's been quite a day. Her tone even changed. <laughs> so what do oh! we owe this honor? A debt I would see repaid. Let's That's stay so on. Precious. It's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. 
You know, I forgot they haven't met. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Listen to your heart. It will guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. Oh. That is all. Thank you. For everything. Your Highness. Dion, please. Oh! <laughs> you do realize the only thing we've freed so far oh! is this world from its foundations, right? Now, oh! your lord and ladyship's uh, quite finished. Oh, Goats is here too! We have work to do. This is so amazing! End of the game. No. Hey, Dion, I'm going to you first. Why do you gotta look so badass? There is still much I would learn of your tale once this day is done. I so will. Then, <laughs> all who might come between me and such knowledge shall answer to my spear. I do not envy them. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry. I go. But don't suppose is how I can say to make you change your mind. So I'll just tell you to stay safe. Nan won't take kindly to losing her best customer, especially after letting us carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. And we wouldn't want to anger old Nan. You mean you'll buy some of offers? Give us a shout if you need out else. Mm. Pet the Torgal. I couldn't have made it this far without you, Torgal. Well. Hmm. Hmm. I was not expecting to beat the game today. Each parting brings the hope. I am emotional. I missed you, Clive. Mm. I missed you too. Mm. I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to go. Hi, Dion. Worry not on our welfare. Your foremost concern should be the heart. Dude, he's quite literally doing that lean back emote from FF14. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. Oh my god, this is it. This is the fucking end. No, no, I was not. Oh my God, no. I was not emotionally prepared to end the game today. No, mm. <sighs> Oh no, I don't want it to be over. <laughs> Fuck. We fought long and hard for this moment. Since I don't want it. Our dream is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall. Together. <laughs> you all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. Aye. Aye. Holy shit. <laughs> it seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. 
We will stay them. Go. Giga Chad. Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. Chill, breathe. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Also, I feel like you only need Dion in that situation. <laughs> Dion is uh, Giga Chad. He could take them all. Oh. <laughs> Joshua! Aww. Joshua! Wake up! This isn't gonna go well. I'm telling you, Joshua's gonna be dead by the Clive, end of the game. No, no. I, I, mm. This. This isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. Mm, good luck with that. <laughs> Clive makes that sound so simple. Interdimensional rift. Uh, it's so dark. of your transgressions we must go back to the beginning when the world was still young we visited upon it a miracle magic and in its light did all life flourish the blight. What of the mother crystals? I 
expect he'll turn us soon enough. Joshua, you're with me, right? You should, like, be next to me. <laughs> the music is just so nice. Alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There would the true work begin, for the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, and where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So. Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. <laughs> For now, right? This almost makes it sound like a good thing, though. I don't like the sound of that. This is giving me... A new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? <laughs> we sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. <laughs> Alone in a world Humans got of woke. God's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his
his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource and the land she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. <laughs> Not blind. Just unwilling to admit the truth. I like the idea of Joshua calling him out. I get, uh, that was interrupted before on my thought. Uh, this, so far, this end gives me heavy, similar feelings to FF15, actually. I wonder if they're gonna go that direction. No, don't make me fight more shit. Is that the freed or what's left oh, of him? Okay. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Thea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. Uh, uh. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place <laughs> in our world. Holy shit. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? <laughs> yes, I'm laughing because it is. We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time <clears throat> comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! Well... Not to him. <laughs> what? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. God, his eyes are just terrifying. Brother. I can't do this alone. Mm. <laughs> and you don't have to. Mm -hmm. I 
grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. I can fake him. Oh! Wow, that's an awesome design. Love that. My friends. My family. We have all suffered. All fought to survive. This world may be flawed. It may be broken. But it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. What is this? Ra oh, I failed the first raid mechanic. Ah! I bet this is going to be the easiest fight in the game. I bet it's super easy. Okay, that's it. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> so we stay away from that. Yeah, it's fine. Does it count as car? 
karma though if it's a sarcasm? I don't think so. Oh god, what now? Gifted this chance. And still you would raise your hand against the Lord. What now? The darkness bends. Oh. He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. <laughs> Good luck with that. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender. <laughs> No way. That just no. 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 Uh uh. At last, for countless generations, have we awaited this moment. Struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Oh my God. Mm mm. Oh ho ho ho. Oh, Sid.
Tell me, Clive. How many lives have you saved since taking my name? Sid would never. Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... These are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring, all they will ever bring, is death? There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Man, I really wanted to hear Sid's voice again, but not like this. Oh. Clive! Please, won't somebody save me? Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? Nah, you just can't beat From out Sid, will sorry. Is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? Jesus. What if it could all just go away? Just go away. Clive? There you go. Yeah. Joshua is always there to save the day. Yeah. None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Mm. Brother. Yeah, just use like a phoenix down on yourself. <laughs> Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look. There you go. Ultima. There you go. Even here. The light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched. And the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest 
by the power of will alone. You know, he sounds strangely, strangely calm for being fucked. Of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? <laughs> screech yay oh game's done we did it Good job, everyone. Pack it up. Damn it, Clay. Wake up. That's... That's... Oh, come on, pussy. Sorry to wake you. That was nothing. I think it may be time to leave. This place. Eh? That was nothing compared to Joshua's punch in the face that you got earlier. Oh, the Torgo whimpers, stop. And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. This sounds... What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? This sounds like a lot of hypocrisy in this and house. Shall you be made complete? Soon, Muthos. Soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. How little I know of suffering, holy crap. How many times have I, like, cried in this game? Sombrick? Why are we here? And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. <laughs> so oh my god. Longer slumber to waking. And back to their origin. What the fuck? No, medicine girl! I hope she'll be okay. And Terrence with her.
I don't know, that's not so hot. <sighs> They're fine. Everybody is fine. The bloody crystal's cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Is that ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Oh, we're fine. Are we back? Clyde, Joshua. Jill. Oh. Everyone all right? No. We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Nate! We're leaving. Now. Everyone, fall back to the ship. No. I will be with you and none. I hate you. So, can you punch Thank him you. in the face? <laughs> God, I just, I just want to punch him so hard. My God, I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I just want to punch him. <laughs> like, bro. You don't need to stay back and kill everything. It, the numbers are endless. Okay, bro, you're so extra! I know, I know. That's why he said he's extra. Because only Dragoons use elusive jump in an extra fashion. I am one of those people. <laughs> uh. Okay, maybe he didn't need a punch in the face there. I thought he was actually going to stay behind and not go on the ship and then fly home. But we good. Oh, thank God. What happened to Drake's spine. Uh, I was I'm genuinely worried that was going to be the end of the game. Oh, Jesus. Thank God, I don't want this game to end yet. Hey, hey it's Uncle Byron. Did you know that it was I <gasps> who convinced his Imperial Highness to He had a listen jump on cooldown. He had to wait 30 seconds <laughs> for right. that shit. It may be that he was of a mind to do so already, but it was I who told him where you'd be. Oh yeah, Byron. Did you know that it was I who convinced his Imperial Highness to join you in Stonehill? <laughs> All right. It may be that he was of a mind to do so already, but it was I who told him where you'd be. Uncle Byron is very proud of himself for that Did one. Did you know that it was I who convinced his <laughs> origin? He called it the origin of what? Where is everybody? I gotta talk to everybody. Byron, Joshua, you. There's something about it. Where I need to find everybody. Oh, there you are, my favorite. Hi. I have wronged so many. I hate you so much. Ruined thousands of lives. I'm gonna punch you. I did not deserve to be saved. Oh my God. But save me, you and your brother did. Your uncle too forgave me my sins. Offered me a chance at redemption. Yours is a fine family, Ifrit. Cherish it. Mm. I hate you so much.
Is this the last of the Mother Crystals, do you think? Or could there be others buried out there? There's not like a fuck-off crystal hanging over the horizon to sour your eel. <laughs> Alright, I, I haven't said it before, but Gav is redeemed. He's redeemed. Don't worry about him. He's fine. Hmm... you today clive you can't Here's everything we've received i'm dead inside promised. and there is nothing anyone can do are. about it you've already got that one shut up <laughs> sorry I, it's been a day <laughs> i'm so sorry something tells me that i saw on the horizon is your doing how'd you manage that it's a long story one that i'd rather only tell once right all hands on deck then I really have to pee, but I'm trying to hold it in. I can't. Okay, everyone. I, I need to. G give me a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm alive. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't. Mm. <sighs> Is this everyone? As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. The significance of that name is as yet unclear. Well, I believe what it is it the origin. What it's called. Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mm. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Vanistian records. To the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire. Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that <laughs> is call. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day.
Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance, would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Hmm. Arcae above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. faced him at stone here Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin needless to say we cannot allow that to continue if we are to stop him we will have to find a way into the crystal how are we gonna manage that then it's up in the sky and fast as she is the Enterprise can't fly why not we need our classic airship <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Aww. Isn't that right, Clive? Hmm. Right. That's right. Well, go on then. Bugger off. <laughs> Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Thank you. Hmm. Everything sucks. Joshua seemed upset. Literally everything sucks. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Hmm. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. No pressure. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, mm. it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? <laughs> but first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. 
remember. All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I'm still your sworn shield. <laughs> that you are. And what of my wings? Yeah, I was gonna say, so Dion has wings too. Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit, your brother mentioned that some few of the dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. <laughs> that you both might save your strength for the battle to come. <laughs> you don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? Oh my god. My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. Can I punch him now? <laughs> much to answer for. Uh, this giga shit. <laughs> We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. Even he looks happier, too. That's the happiest we've ever seen him in this whole game. I hate this. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Take as much time as you need, brother. Something tells me Ultima will wait. Say your farewells, and let us be gone. Say your farewells, and let us be gone. Say your farewells, and let us be gone. Every ounce of my brain ugh, it is trying to understand. I wish Joshua and Dion would talk. I feel like if anybody could convince him, it'd be him. It's just so... Ugh, he, it, it did, 
He's happy. He's happy. Say your farewells and let us be gone. This is infuriating. You're happy about this. I can't, like, it's so hard to accept. That is so hard to accept that he's happy about this. I just... Ugh. I just... Ugh. I just want to... I just want to punch this man in the face. Like, I want Joshua to do it. This is... I want Joshua to punch him in the face, and then I want him to know that, like, it's not his fucking fault, dude. Like, he's so committed to this with, with like, living with regret. Just, just, no. But for some reason, he's happy. Like, he's accepted that. That's so messed up. Uh. Like, to him, he's lost everything. So that's why he's happy about it. I always like, I always try to understand characters the best I can. And I just, it's so hard for me to understand how he is so accepting of this. I don't understand. Like, that just killed me so much, just seeing how happy he was. That was the happiest we've ever seen Dion in this whole game. That he's just come to terms with that. Come to wish on a star. Might not be such a bad idea. I'm moving on so I don't cry. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. <sighs> this is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. If I don't... It's almost time. Then to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Oh, we have side quests out the ass, buddy boy. I hope that you are ready for that. How many we got? <sighs> oh, good, good. A lot. Good. Uh, uh, that's that's a lot. What is this? Under new management. Good. Oh, that quest line is continuing. Good, good, good. That's a good one. I'm losing my mind. Jesus. Ugh. I get so frustrated so easily with characters that I don't understand. Courage, Ifrit. My decision is made. You said it yourself. He must be stopped. He 
must. <laughs> Make ready. He's gonna be fine. I'm convinced. Joshua has a side quest? Ah, uh, Clive. Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say nothing. Uh, it's... Thank you for the distraction. Not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. What? His will. How and where? I should not have started this. Beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? Yeah, why wouldn't I, you idiot? Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as Don't much as you Don't you dare say do. something stupid ever Very well. I am ready to leave when you are. <sighs> so many side quests. So many distractions. Oh my god, that's five? Six alone in here? Content for days! Let's go! I'm gonna see how many is in the, the book. Oh. Two in the book. Jesus Christ. Honestly, I'm kind of excited about it because I wanted a distraction from everything happening. So, seven, eight, nine, ten? 10 side quests total. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm going to end it there. Um, I don't, I definitely cannot handle anymore. And I'm going to figure out ways in my head to punch Dion in the face and give him resolve and a will to live. And, uh, well, he has resolve. He wants to beat up Ultima, but. I just don't want him to throw his life away for it. So, 